Now, six months into Israel's war against Hamas in the Gaza Strip, time is running out for relatives of hostages yearning to see the kidnapped come home. Now, Hamas has reportedly claimed that it lacks the ability to locate 40 hostages which are needed for a ceasefire deal with Israel. International negotiators have proposed an initial ceasefire during which Hamas would free 40 hostages, including women, older people, ill hostages and female soldiers. But Hamas says that it does not have the 40 hostages needed to fulfill the demands of the first round of ceasefire negotiations. Hamas's assertion has raised fears that more hostages might be dead than previously believed. When Hamas-led militants stormed into southern Israel on the 7th of October, they killed some 1,200 people and took around 250 hostages. Half a year into Israel's war, agonized families are in the race against time. In November, a week-long ceasefire deal saw the release of more than 100 hostages. But the war is dragging on, with no end in sight and no serious hostage deal on the table. Israel says more than 130 hostages remain, with about a quarter of those believed dead. Divisions are deepening in the country over the best way to bring them home. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to both eliminate Hamas and bring all the hostages back, but he's made little progress. He faces pressure to resign, and the United States has threatened to scale back its support over the humanitarian toll that this has taken. On and off negotiations mediated by Qatar, the United States and Egypt have yielded little. As panelists, if a viable deal emerges, decisions will become harder and divisions sharper. Israelis are divided into two main camps. Some want the government to put the war on hold and free the hostages. On the other hand, some Israelis think the hostages are an unfortunate price to pay for eradicating Hamas. But for most families and friends whose loved ones are in captivity, there's no choice but to bring them back home. Many are concerned in particular about the women held in Gaza. Based on testimonies from freed hostages, they fear those remaining could be suffering from sexual abuse. Psychoanalysts say the stress of missing a loved one is hard on the healthiest of people and it will only worsen existing ailments. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.